the way LLM are, LLMs are trained is that you, you take a piece of text, you remove some of the words in that text, you mask them, you replace, by, replace them by blank markers, and you train a gigantic neural net to predict the words that are missing. Uh, and if you build a, this neural net in a particular way, so that it can only look at uh, words that are to the left of the one it's trying to predict, then what you have is a system that basically is trained to predict the next word in a text, right? So then you can feed it uh, a text, a prompt, and you can ask it to predict the next word. It can never predict the next word exactly. And so what it's going to do is uh, produce a probability distribution over all the possible words in your dictionary. In fact, it doesn't predict words, it predicts tokens that are kind of subword units. And so it's easy to handle the uncertainty in the prediction there because there's only a finite number of possible words in the dictionary and you can just compute a distribution over them. Um, then what, you, what the system does is that it, it picks a word from that distribution. Of course, there's a higher chance of picking words that have a higher probability within that distribution. So you sample from that distribution to actually produce a word. And then you shift that word into the input. And so that allows the system not to predict the second word, right? And once you do this, you shift it into the input, et cetera. That's called autoregressive prediction, um, which is why those LLMs should be called autoregressive LLMs. Uh, mm -hmm. But we just call them LLMs. 